Hi guys, so this video is a little bit different than anything I've ever done. As you can see, I'm sitting in front of my vanity and um, this is going to be a vanity tour uh, and makeup collection video. It is so long, I'm so sorry. I just talk and talk and talk. So if you can get through this 30 minute video, then kudos to you and thank you so much for being interested. Um, a couple people requested it, so I'm, I filmed it. Um, I hope you enjoy it and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by like just showing you the layout of it. I have, like everyone else, the um, Alex drawers. It's the five drawers um, on both sides with the IKEA lac high gloss table on top, uh, an IKEA chair. It was like under. It was twenty dollars or less. I know that. Um, so this is like I'm like stepping in my bathroom right now just so I could show you guys. And then as I come this way kind of turn and um, off to the right of my table I have another Ikea tabletop it's a smaller one not high gloss um, it was on I think 20 bucks and then just the four legs attached to it which those are only a couple dollars a piece so that table excuse me <laughs> I have indigestion <laughs> that table was under $30 and then right here this is my backdrop that you see in all my videos I cannot wait to get another one because I feel like it's so boring the same thing every time but I'm wanting to switch everything around anyways and film with my vanity in my background so that'll happen soon so over there right across you see uh, there's four lac shelves and six spice racks that I need to paint those, those everything's from Ikea and I will get those painted and get those up I want to do like a palette wall like where I put all my palettes in those spice racks yes that's a good idea I know it is and then I want to eventually get all of my beauty products here off of that table and onto the the lac shelves like in a long horizontal line so I can use this table for like my tripod and such so I have I'm backing up here the um, limo studio softbox lights um, I got the it's a set of two I got them on Amazon. I want to say like $70 is what I want to say. But I'm not 100%. I can look it up though if you guys truly want to know. So we'll just start at the um, like top of my vanity. And we'll work our way around and then into my drawers. So the first thing that I have up here is this um, gold bowl. I got it at um, Target. And in here I keep products that I want to um, talk about. Like new products that I've got. You know and haven't really used. Or that I want to do a video on. So I just got that in the mail the other day. And I want to do a tutorial with it. As well as swatches for you guys. Even though there's probably a million videos on it. But I got it on sale. So I want to do something with that. And then this is the e.l.f. HD powder. Um, setting powder. I have to talk about this in an upcoming video. So it's in there. Then I got a couple new Milani products for the lip. Um, Matte Beauty. And then the liner. Uh, in spice so I wanted to do like a little talk through on that and then I got this new Milani eyeshadow and I wanted to do a thing on that anyways basically everything in here I want to talk about or do something on so I'm not gonna ramble ramble but yeah so the Infallible Pro Matte I've just used that once I really love it I think that there is this is a dupe for um, a higher end foundation so I want to do something on that this Marc Jacobs Mod Nior, Nior um, I'm addicted I always thought Daisy would be my ride or die, but I have this in here because I got the sample and I love it and I want to buy it and I don't want to forget the name. This um, lip exfoliator by e.l.f., I'm dying for it right now. I'm obsessed with it. I don't even know how I ever live without it. Then I got this new Infallible Pro Matte Gloss by L'Oreal. 
and I wanted to show you that too. So anyways, yeah, this little bowl here is everything that I want to talk about soon. Then this little thing here uh, just says pretty little things. My has a Tiffany necklace my husband got me on my 30th birthday. A pair of earrings only because they're gold with the little diamonds on them. Not real diamonds, but <laughs> so they kind of go with my theme here. Then I have these three white can ah! candle holders. They're from the Dollar Tree. Um, they originally hold candles, but now they hold my stuff. Um, I just have all my lip liners in here, just various brands. Um, there's some MAC, there's some Belle Pierre, there's a whole bunch of these True Lips. And let me know if you guys want me to do a video on all of these. I'm about to back this up. I don't know how much to swatch this. You guys have to see this. Okay, what am I going to do? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Watch my, <laughs> yeah, I'm burnt. See that? I'm burnt. Like a crispy piece of toast. Can you see the? I don't know. Can you see that? That is insane. These are so creamy, and you get um, twelve of them for like four bucks on Amazon. And I think it's like a crazy. I'm trying to get the lid back on. Oh my gosh! It is very hard to film with one hand. Um. I'm really struggling. Okay, anyways, so. Um, I got those on Amazon for like four bucks for 12 of them, and I think they're super creamy and work really well. I'm not really into lip liners, so it's not like I need a million, but I feel like it's a really wide variety of shades. Anyways, moving right along, this is um, where I keep all of my brow and eyeliner products. So, like, I have this, um, the brow gal, I brow gel I hate that sorry I just do <laughs> I have the Anastasia brow gel that one's pretty good this clear one just like makes my eyelid eye eyebrows flaky so um just this is just full of different eyeliners Urban Decay there's Stila there's Wet n Wild there's my Anastasia brow whiz which I'll have a brow tutorial up very soon it was requested I have Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I really love that one. There's the Kajal, Rimmel, you know, Urban Decay. I don't know. There's just a lot. There's Sephora liquid liner. I love that. There's the um, Voodoo Urban Decay pencil. It's in like a purple color. So yeah, anything brow and eyeliner is in this little one. Then I have my brow brushes, or my brow, my eye brushes in here. Um, pretty much everything is BH Cosmetics, uh, Morphe, or the Wet n Wild, and a few of the um, Real Techniques. Then on my vanity, um, if I'm going to wear gloss, these are, I either reach for one of these two, the Urban Decay Naked in the color Sesso, or the Buxom in the color Dolly, the plumping gloss. I don't wear gloss often, but if I do, those are the two that I reach for, so they're just out. Then moving right along here, this is from Home Goods. I believe it was for stationery, um, but I turned it into my brush holder. I have face brushes here, like blush, bronzer, you know, foundation. I have the dupes, those, and then these are some other face brushes. Then all of these are for bronzing and highlighting and contouring. This is Eco Tools, my absolute favorite bronzing brush of all time. I got it at Walmart. Then here is my BH Cosmetics color switch. Love that. It's I think it's still sold out on their website, but they'll have it back soon. Then here are a few other palettes. These are all like YouTube, YouTuber palettes. Um, this is the Carly Bible palette. This is the Shan XO palette. This is the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is just like an envelope holder or a letter holder or something. I got on Amazon.com for like $5 or something. 
and um, it matches the Dollar Tree uh, candle holder, so it worked out perfectly. Anyways, um, then I put this little dream sign in front just as a reminder that all dreams do come true. Um, and this little space back here is reserved for my Violet Boss Lower Lee palette coming in the mail tomorrow. I'm going to be waiting at the mailbox all day. Anyways, then I have hand sanitizer. I have this Adrian Bittadini hand cream just because it's gold and pink and looks cute. Then I have um, this Yankee candle and coconut pudding and this little love sign. I got this at Home Goods. It was $4.99. Yes. Then this little bird. I know my beauty blenders are filthy. I'm sorry. I will wash them. Uh, this little bird jewelry holder, I got that at uh, Home Goods also. It was like $5 or something. And I just store all of my beauty blenders, my minis, my regulars, all that on there. Then these little lights in the back, um, they are more of a yellow toned light. So sometimes if my videos look yellow, it's because I'm using those lights. If not, then it's because I have these on. But if my husband's trying to sleep, then I use the yellow ones. And then I have this little mirror here. It's dual-sided, like magnifying. It's got fingerprints on it. Hello! And I got that at TJ Maxx. I don't know the price. It doesn't have it on there. So that's the top of that. Now we'll come over here, and I just have um, these little clear containers, one with Q-tips one with makeup remover pads. I got these on Amazon.com. Here are my perfumes. This is Marc Jacobs, Daisy, uh, Victoria's Secret Bombshell in the perfume and the spritz, and Clinique Happy. And then this is my new favorite. Um, it's called Pink Innocencia, and it's by Sonia Kashuk. I got it at Target. It was $19.99. But they had buy one, get one half. So I got the body wash too. I am dying for it. It smells so good. And there's teas and some kind of coal and body sprays from Victoria's Secret. Then my friend Kylie went to Paris and picked me these um, hand creams up there. They're so pretty and I have them displayed there. And then these are all my aromatherapies. Um, I have all of the... Uh, Shower gel, too, uh, but they're in the shower, obviously. <laughs> and Bath & Body Works runs aromatherapy on sale all the time for $5 each. So pick them up when they run the sale because they're awesome. Um, I just have a little hand mirror here. And then here is my little picture of me and my husband when we got married. This is my dad, and he is a minister, and he married me and my husband It'll be 10 years ago this August in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, up in the mountains. It was very quaint and absolutely perfect. So that's that little frame I keep there. And then here's a little owl because I love owls. I don't know where I got this. Probably TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And it just holds all my bobby pins. Then here is my little carousel of beauty products. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, it's mirrored on the bottom. And then, like, bejewel all around. And I just keep all of my face products in here. Like, the Murad Anti-Acne. I have the Arcona White Ice Moisturizer. The Arcona Tea Tree Bar. Some Anti-Acne Serum. Noticing a trend here. <laughs> Vitamin C. Some Tarte Maracuja Oil. Um, which, this is great for mixing in with any foundation to make it apply easier if it's too thick. Um, there's some eye creams by Estee Lauder, Mary Kay Microdermabrasion, this Kalayan 4-pack. I love this. Um, my Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. Here is my tripod, which when I film, it is right here on my vanity facing me. And I use that mirror to look into. So when I'm all in disarray, that's why. So we'll just start with this side first because it's easier. I'm trying to hurry, guys. So you guys know I freelance. So in here I have a, like a list of things to do, a thank you stamp, some receipts, my release and consent forms for photography when I'm doing an event. 
um, because you always need to protect yourself from people who might try to sue you. A uh, list of things I want to do, etc., etc. Next drawer is all of my primers and setting sprays. So, you know, you can see them. Uh, Dr. Brandt, MAC Prep and Prime, Smashbox, Sephora, or Sweat Wild. There's some Poor Professional. There's Essence. for That's an eyeshadow primer. There's the um, Too Faced Glitter Glue, MAC Pot in the color Pearl, Prime Time by Bare Minerals, a green correcting one by Smashbox, Urban Decay Eye Primer, Smashbox Primer, um, the Nivea Men. These are all uh, benefits products. I have a couple of the matte finishes by NYX. Um, the one dewy finish, not a huge fan of the dewy, but I do love the mattes. But I am oily, excessively oily. That's gross. Uh, retinol wipes from the Dollar Tree. Um, Smashbox, it's a wrap, waterproof makeup remover. Two of the Urban Decay setting sprays, one small, one big. MAC Prep and Prime, which it is done with its time. I need to put it in my empties for some spray alcohol so I can be all sanitary. Oh, I'm getting low, guys. Getting low. Getting low. Um, here are my lip products. So I'm not going to, like, go into detail on all these because that would take, this video would be four hours long. Um, so I have the soft matte lip creams. I have 10 colors. Let me know if you want me to swatch all those on my arms. And I will, so you guys can get an idea of color selection. I have the MAC Viva Glam Palette. I use that on a lot of my clients. Um, these are all like Smashbox liquid colored lip glosses, I guess. These are all Bare Minerals. These are all Stila. That's a unique, lucrative lip gloss. These are my MAC ones. These are, are Unique and Elf and NYX. And these are all Kat Von D. They're mini shades, but I have several of them. Uh, the gold, of course, are Milani. This is another Kat Von D. It's a bigger one. There's a Tarte lip crayon. Uh, Pure Pout Pen. It's a stain and a gloss. It's Clinique Gloss, Burt's Bees. These are all of my liquid lipsticks. Kat Von D, NYX, Tarte. It's a new one that I just got. Ofra, Sephora, and Stila. So that's that. Here is um, all of my stuff for freelance and for like when I make products. Like I have like a, a My Mix Press It binder that I use for eyeshadows. I have glycerin back here, um, alcohol, this makeup brush cleaner by BH. I'm not a fan of that. I think that's the only thing from BH Cosmetics that I do not like is their makeup brush cleaner. So FYI, do not buy that. It does not work very well. Um, Precision Beauty uh, mascara wands, hair shower caps for when I am aerosol airbrushing, uh, lip wands, more alcohol removers, you know, all the stuff that you need all the time. Then down here is all the stuff for um, to make my eyeshadows. Um, my the Z palettes that my giveaway winners eyeshadows will go in if the glitters will ever come. I just had to send them a rude email because delivery was supposed to be on the 6th and they are still not here. Um, these are these are all of my little tins for eyeshadow. So if anybody needs any, <laughs> let me know. Um, I picked up these little quads from a company. I can't not think of the name. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Same place I buy these from. Oh, T... Uh, T TKB Trading. So I picked up these little palettes, and you can, like, customize your own quad. Hi. Uh, you just put your little tins in there. You have a quad and a mirror, and they're sparkly. And so I bought four of those, and I'm going to, like, just randomly announce that I'm giving away a quad of my eyeshadows for the people that actually watch my videos. Then down here, while I'm on the ground, there's a Escaped Beauty Blender right there. Um, this is my empty, so anything that's empty, I just toss down here. 
and I will eventually do a video when it gets a little fuller on empties and whether or not I'll repurchase. One of the things that's a definite is that Anastasia Brow Definer. I need to go get one ASAP. Um, that Sephora bag is all my giveaway stuff. This is where I keep my um, makeup belt and my bag that has rollers for when I freelance. Okay, coming up. Hi! This is not a nightgown. It's a dress. <laughs> okay, top drawer is all my foundations. Um, I have a, almost every shade in the Sephora airbrush foundations. Uh, it goes way back here. Way back there. I use it with all my clients. Then I have a whole, I think, what, six shades in the Clinique super balanced makeup um, for freelancing or whatever and then I have the Clinique can you see what that says because I can't continuous coverage foundation a couple of those um, then I have Too Faced Born This Way unique mineral touch foundation I'm not really a fan of that look how it's all broke up in the bottle right now it needs shook it's not even Oh, it's completely broke up. I gotta throw that away. Gross. I'm not a fan of that foundation anyways. Sorry if I offend you. Kat Von D. Um, Clinique. Even better. I really love this right now. Um, MAC Studio Fix. I don't know why that bronzer's in there. Uh, Makeup Forever HD Cover Stick. The Cover FX. Bourgeois. Bourgeois, Lori True Match, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, two Matte and Poreless, one Dewy Smooth, this L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. I really like this. I don't think it gets very much hype, but I think it should. Maybe I'll talk about that someday soon. Uh, these are all of my concealers. Maybelline Fit Me, Age Rewind, Maybelline Fit Me Again, MAC Prep and Prime, uh, this is the Bare Essentials something. Bare Skin. I really love that. It's very similar to Naked. They're basically the same. Um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color correcting shades red, orange, and green. Um, this is my Holy Grail right here by by Under Eye by It Cosmetics. I buy this little tiny tube. It's $10 at the checkout at Ulta. Uh, because one of these lasts me forever. And if you mix it with a little bit of maracuja oil or any type of face oil, then you can use it as a foundation, and it is bomb.com. Then I have the Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer by Unique. Um, the Ofra Anti-Shine HD Powder, Laura Mercier. I have some MAC Studio Fix Face Powder. Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. Mineral Veil. I have like four Mineral Veils. Um, and that doesn't go there. Second drawer here. This is all of my um, blush, bronzer, highlight, contour. So um, these are all my contour sticks. I have the Pure Contour Stick. Um, Beauty for Real Contour Stick. It's actually a blush and highlight stick. Then I have the Sephora Contour Stick and the NYX one. And then I have the Anastasia Contour Palette, the BH Sculpt and Glow Palette. And then I have this um, palette that I did myself where I just depotted all of my Benefit. Is it Benefit? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Rocketeer, Hula, uh, Coralista, Dandelion, all of those. Um, depotted them. So I have like, it's like highlighters, bronzers, and blushes all here. It's a uh, banana powder by Ofra, I believe. Um, and then I also put all the eyeshadows that I made in with this palette. So they're all together. Um, even though my eyeshadows do not go there. <laughs> um, then I have the Becca Afterglow palette, the MAC Strobing Cream, Benefit Shy Beam, What's Up by Benefit, Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, DLS Highlighter, um, the Warmth, Bare Minerals Warmth Bronzer, NARS in, that's Laguna. No, yeah, no. Ghoulie, I don't know, Ghoulie. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, Ghoulie. I thought I was just reading it backwards. There's a NYX Illuminator, Hikari Illuminator, uh, Professional Blush, blush Palette by BH, 
Nude Blush Palette by BH. Absolutely love them. Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This is gorgeous. Love that. Um, MAC Mineralized Skin Tint in Give Me Sun. Urban Decay Illuminator. Some MAC Blush, Makeup Geek Blush, Bobbi Brown Brush, and some Milani Brush in a Color Make Blush. This drawer looks really sad. <laughs> but um, here's where I keep my uh, MAC Pigments. Um, that goes back here and this and like anything like single eyeshadow so it's an elf pot urban decay blinky by j cat beauty these are awesome and i want every color they have so much pigment that's a wet and wild nomad then um this is my bh cosmetics ultimate brow palette this is the bomb it is awesome highly recommend it um, this is MAC, a holiday collection of their pigments. So those are there. And then here are my mascaras and a couple of gel liners. The NARS gel liner and the Tarte liner. Um, this is my favorite mascara of all time. It's Marc Jacobs. My second favorite is... I don't know where it's at. Vixen right here. This volume Vixen by Pure Second Favorite. And then uh, my Urban Decay Perversion is in my empties. <laughs> um, I have the Carbon or Carbon Black the Luminous by L'Oreal. Um, Better Than Sex. They're Real. MAC Giga Black Lash. Roller Lash. They're Real Again. They're Real Again. They're Huge. Blink. Smashbox X-Rated. Why are all mascara names like something sexual, I feel like? Isn't that strange? Oh, well. Um, and back here is all my little tools and products, like tweezers and brow shaver and Anastasia brow sharp or pencil sharpener, tape. Um, there's some tools to remove blackheads. Isn't that fun? Then here are my little measly collection of lashes. I think I have five, four pairs. I never wear them. I'm just not, I just don't. I don't know why. I probably should start though. That would make me really cool if I did. Anywho. Okay, here's all my palettes. This is the one I custom made. Um... Based on Jaclyn Hill's recommendation, everything is from MAC or Makeup Geek. Then I have the Mega 2 by Lorac. Vice Palette. Smoked by Urban Decay. Two BH Palettes. Tartlet. Too Faced. Urban Decay. Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Naked on the Run palette, the Anastasia self made palette. If you guys want to see any tutorials with any of these palettes, just say so. Makeup Revolution palette, the Coastal Sense Revealed Smoky palette. I don't know if I could even reach this. Yeah. These are all of my Lorac palettes right here. Elf palette, a MAC palette, pure palette, and the Smoochstruck Addiction Shadow Palette. So those are my palettes, all except for my Violet Balls, which is in the mail. And I don't have the Modern Renaissance palette, and I want it so bad. And then down here is all my bags from all my subscription um boxes i'm saving them for like when i do like pop-up giveaways to just throw a few things in and send it out um here's all this stuff like everything is either from a box that i and i'm not going to use it so i'm throwing it in for a giveaway or just stuff that i've purchased when i've been out like on clearance or whatever just so i can 
you know, I'm always thinking about my subscribers and the next thing I can do. So I've gotten some things. A um, whole bunch of brushes. This is wet and wild. You know, just a whole, there's a whole bunch. The milk uh, for your eye. Uh, all over color. And then a bronzy one too. So, yeah, tons of brushes. Um, there's a mascara. Just There's just tons of stuff down in there. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep collecting until I feel like doing something crazy. And that concludes my vanity tour. This video is 30 minutes long. I'm going to try to shrink it down the best I can. But I just wanted to get on here and film it. I've had some people request it. Um, I don't have the biggest collection you've ever seen on YouTube, but I don't have the smallest either. I am truly grateful for everything that I do have. Um, and I have purchased everything on my own and nothing has been given to me. So it's just my collection and I hope it continues to grow and grow and grow and so I can continue to do this for you guys. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday.